This video has the capacity to make you more than 9 lakh rupees in less than 21 days. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I was able to generate 9 lakh rupees in less than 21 days and that was only possible after I finalized and focused on one single niche for my agency. And my goal with this video is to help you also to find that one niche which would be great for your agency in 2024 and beyond. Now, in this video, I won't be sharing some random niches just because everyone is talking about them. I will be sharing with you only those niches which either I have practically tested out myself or I have someone in my close network making at least $10,000 per month in that specific niche. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Let's begin. So yeah, first things first, I have to break this myth. It's high time. These agency gurus won't stop fooling you. But my friend, there is no such thing as the most profitable niche. It just doesn't exist. Whatever niche makes you money becomes the most profitable for you, right? It's all just a clickbait. Please don't fall for that. People are making money in the most generic niches that you can ever think of. Now in 2024, you might be thinking dentists and chiropractors niche is highly saturated, right? But one of my friends two months back started his lead generation agency for dentists. And guess what? He is already doing roughly $9,000 per month. But yes, Choosing the niche which is the right fit for you is going to decide how successful your agency will do down the line. Now you might be thinking, okay Akash, if you're saying there is no such thing as profitable niche, then why do I even need a niche? Well today, generic agencies are dying at a faster pace than ever. As you know, whatever I teach on this channel and even my own agency on web runs on the most advanced agency model, the 3.0 remote agency model. And the biggest USP about a 3.0 agency is having one single niche. I mean, generic agency model was what? 1.0, which existed until 2015 or something. And not only that, niche focused agencies have literally 100x more leverage compared to generic agencies. You only think about it. Generic agencies might get one claim from e-commerce, one claim from a dentist, one from consultation space, and every time, a new client comes on board. A complete new process has to be followed. Why? Because every client comes from a complete different background. Every client has a completely different requirement. One needs sales, one needs leads and a million different services. Now, you literally need to start a new process every time a new client comes. And the biggest flaw, you can't even leverage the old results. Why? Because all clients are from different, different niches, boss. Now, can you imagine how much of your work is going to increase? Can you imagine how much time consuming this is going to be? And above all, you would be paid the same for all this extra hard work. We humans have always favored, technically, uh, like we have always favored this specialist over generalist. Now, what do I mean by this? So let's say, let's say uh, your eyes are itchy and you want to go see a doctor. Now, who you will prefer visiting? An average ophthalmologist, Akoka doctor, or a great physician. So here are the questions you need to answer to find a great potential niche for you. Number one, what is the average monthly sale of an existing business in that niche? If you are working in a domestic market, then your potential client should have a business which does roughly uh, approximately near about seven to nine lakh rupees a month on an average. And if you are aiming for international clients, make sure they have a business of at least $10,000 a month. Number two, does that niche relies on social media to get desired results? Now, most of the services that you are going to offer in your space would obviously be revolving around leveraging social media or the internet in some or the other way, right? So you need to make sure that your niche actually relies on social media for results. Because if it doesn't, then your service would mean nothing to the potential client. For example, the e-commerce niche heavily relies on social media for getting sales. So you want to find similar niches which do rely on social media or internet in general. At number three, what is the TAT of your niche? Now TAT stands for turnaround time. Now in your case, TAT is the time between work getting started and client getting actual results. Cool. So I have observed a very crucial equation, which is higher the turnaround time for your niche, lower is the client satisfaction and lower is your performance rate as well. To explain you better, a good example would be something like uh, real estate. 
Now, if you get a lead today for your client, do you think it will get converted that lead will end up buying that property in the next one or even seven days? High chances are no. Hence, this niche has a higher turnaround time, which makes real estate a bit tougher niche to crack. Question number four, what is the average ticket size of your niche? So ticket size means average price of the product or the service which your client is selling. Now ticket size also is, has a similar relation as turnaround time. Why? Let me explain with an example. What do you think will be easy to sell? A 500 rupee t-shirt or a 5000 rupee t-shirt? 500 rupee one, right? Why so? Simply because higher the ticket price of a product, lesser people will have the capacity to buy your client's product or the service. Hence, generating uh, results for your client will become tougher and tougher as the ticket price keeps on increasing. So if you answer these four questions properly, you will have a clear idea which is a good niche to start with. I wish someone gave me these questions when I was starting. If you have properly absorbed whatever I have shared so far, I can guarantee that you are 70% better than your competitors already when it comes to at least finding a great niche. But yeah, now let's discuss what are those best niches which have the potential to make you great returns as an agency owner in 2024 and beyond. So starting off with number one is SaaS. Every waking hour of the day, humans are relying more and more on tech. This is your chance to jump on. Use platforms like Crunchbase, LinkedIn to reach out to your potential clients and sell them on services which they might be outsourcing or looking to outsource. At number two, we have cosmetic surgeons. Now, Instagram on a daily basis makes people feel inferior as such. People are more concerned about their body more than ever. Cosmetic surgeons are on a major boom since last few years. Jump on this bandwagon and you will make some great retainer fees. At number three, we have coaches and consultants. You already know this one, but just to re-emphasize, market for online coaches is growing rapidly. And you can leverage this because mainly these coaches are one man army and they need someone reliable who can take care of marketing and other aspects. So go be their savior and they will not only be grateful for your service, but they will also pay you very handsomely. Our number four, we have online education. Now, since COVID, this space has picked up like a wildfire. The number of businesses which are starting in this space is just crazy. And when I say online education, it's not only schools. See your favorite creators starting their own online education platforms and whatnot. Bank on that and serve them with great services. At number five, we have Solar. Now this niche has been around for quite some time now. And there are already decent number of agencies in this space. But you know what makes me interested about this niche? It's the fact that solar niche is still not 100% served and there is still a lot of room for new but better agencies to come in and above all this niche has a pretty good monthly sale so they can pay you very nicely. At number six we have e-commerce. Now one of the oldest and the most profitable niches honestly uh, e-commerce is one of those safest niche that you can go with but there is a there is a very big catch over here which 90% of the people fail to understand. So e-commerce is a very huge niche as a whole. So taking the entire e-commerce as your niche is not a good option. At number seven, we have FMCG. It stands for fast moving consumer goods. Now there are literally hundreds of new brands born every single day in the space of FMCG. And a lot of them are like small scale brands which need help with so many things, right? From packaging design to someone managing their social media to someone even designing their website. Now you have a full fledged list of seven such niches which have a great potential of growing in years to come. Now I don't want to you to take this information and not do anything with it. Please take action, get started. And if you have any doubts or questions, put them in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer each and every one of them. Cheers.